Good morning, folks. We've got a couple key things to hit today. The volcano in Iceland going off again. An outstanding paper on solar forcing of the atmosphere. And folks, may have been wrong in my initial forecast of yesterday's solar eruption. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and right after the morning show, the incoming southern sunspot released an X-class solar flare. It was the subject of the afternoon show yesterday. We will check out the watch levels and potentially correct our initial forecast here, but let's start with the event itself. While the northern spots released several impulsive M-class flares, the big, long-duration X-class flare from the southern group released a wide-burst CME into space. Now, based on the C2 corona graph, I had said last night that this wide but less dense burst would miss the Earth, and NASA's endless spiral seemed to show the same thing, with the CME sailing by, narrowly missing our planet. But when NOAA's endless spiral was updated, it showed a glancing blow, where the edge of the CME does make impact, forecast for tomorrow night. So I went back and I took a better look at the event with the C3 corona graph, and folks, does look like the edge is visible leaving the central blocking disc to the right in addition to the bulk heading out to the left. Very wide burst. And that does indeed seem to indicate a small earth-directed component to the CME. This impact would be minor, but potentially relevant scientifically and we'll be watching to see if it comes tomorrow night. While also continuing to monitor the northern and southern sunspots and these massive plasma filaments out ahead of the southern group. They have been stable for quite some time now. Let's go off to Iceland, where the curtain of fire has returned. Local towns evacuated as one of the biggest flows yet has already reached the firewall protecting the towns. So far, these have only been effusive eruptions, unlike the 2011 event that shut down air traffic in much of Europe, but it's also the biggest of this latest sequence yet. Eyes on it. And our top science article this morning hits the sun's impact on climate over long cycles. Extremely cold winters are twice as common during low sunspot periods compared to high, and the driest conditions, the mega droughts, are most common during grand solar minimum. Perhaps most importantly, this cannot be explained by solar irradiance, the only thing the sun gets credit for in the current climate models, but rather, the particle forcing and cosmic ray modulation is responsible. That's a great one-two punch paper and I'm sure all veteran observers can applaud. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.